This is you popping hours into Barlight 84, queuing ranked. It's late in the game, you've got your loot, your shields and your competence, but there they are again. That clan, the one that's beaten you in the last three matches, not this time. You spin to face them, shields crack, no, you're on your knees, screaming down the headset. You wonder, what are they doing that I'm not? That's what we're here to answer. This is Joshua. Let's freaking go. My co-cast, creator of Legend Scrims and a pro player. He knows exactly what you're missing. And here, we're going to share those tips with you. So by the end of this video, you'll have the same four tactics that can help you play just like a pro. Let's dive in. You've probably had this moment. You're in a fight, and just as you yell, He's one HP! Your enemy disappears, escaping with ease. What happened? Why didn't you catch them? Chances are, they were using edge sliding. What is edge sliding? It's pretty much what it sounds like. You slide on an edge. It sounds simple, right? Sliding off an edge. But the difference it makes is huge. Check this out. You don't slide like this, do you? That's because top players use edge sliding to boost. It's a trick that lets you create space between you and your enemy or close the gap when you're chasing them down. If you're not doing this, you're not maximizing your movement. How many more kills could you get with this trick? And combining it with this next tip, you'll be unstoppable. Have you ever found yourself chasing the last player from a squad only to realize they vanish? It's frustrating, but the pro players know what to do next. Here's the trick. Map game sense. It's not just about knowing where you are, but where the enemy is likely to be. After a fight, you should take a second to heal and check your map. Notice where the respawn beacons are. Now, watch the player count. When it goes up, check your map again. If the respawn beacon has disappeared, that's your clue that someone just respawned their squad in that area. That's a fresh target waiting for you. Want more kills? You'll need to know exactly where to find them. But what if you're the one that's being hunted? That's where this next tip comes in. Imagine this, your screen flashes red, your heart races, you just got cracked. What do you do? Heal, run, or fight back? You should pause the video here. What would you do? No cheating, let me know in the comments and check back and see if it was what the pros would have done. Now let me show you what most top players do in this situation. It's called trading damage. We took 60 damage in just a couple of quick shots. But here's the thing, when you trade damage back fast, it messes with your opponent's head. Suddenly, they're unsure whether to heal, reposition, or push. That moment of hesitation gives you the upper hand. Pro players master this technique because sometimes a quick trade can be the difference between retreating safely or getting wiped. But there's a way to trade damage even more safely, and that's where our next tip comes into play. When trading damage, the angle that you peek from matters. Let me show you why. Pink light represents this player's third person camera. When I shoot the light, you can see the bullets hitting the center of the screen on the left. This means that there's a small space between the player's camera and the player's character model. This small space lets you shoot your opponent without risking any damage to yourself. From above, you can see the safe right hand peak angle. If you stand anywhere in the blue space, your bullets will hit the wall. If you stand in the red space, your opponent can shoot you back. The green space is the sweet spot where you can shoot your opponent, but they can't shoot back. This small advantage can be the difference between winning a trade or getting caught out. Use it to your benefit, especially when retreating. You get to choose the angle, and if you combine this with trading damage, you'll control the fight from a safe position. But even with these mechanics, there's something else you'll need to master. The one thing that separates the good players from the best. But knowing them is one thing and pulling them off in the heat of a match is something else entirely. That's why you need to improve your game sense, being able to read the map, track your enemies and make decisions in real time. And I've got just the video for that. It breaks down far like cup winners strategies so you can spot what enemies are about to do before they even know themselves. Check this one out. 